guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about the time a troll came to my house. Yeah, so let's get to it. I'm gonna do my makeup at the same time as well. I just need to do my skin base. I'm just gonna do a quick skin base whilst I tell you. Those of you that know me, I have been doing makeup for about eight years now. I am a working makeup artist. Makeup is what I live and breathe. And I was at one point doing makeup lessons. So what I would do is I'd work from my parents' house in their studio. So it was like a separate space to do makeup. And I would teach loads of clients there how to do makeup, but I would always need models to work on. So I would usually just on social media, put out like an ad just saying that I need models and anyone could be a model, literally anyone. I would get DMs from people. There wouldn't be like a specific type of person I'd be looking for. It wasn't like, oh, you have to um, already do modeling or have blue eyes or you need to be really good in the camera. It was literally anyone can model. If you want a model, you can model. So I found a model and she came round for the lesson that I was teaching with my student, my client, and she ended up coming around quite a few times for numerous different lessons. Like this wasn't the only lesson that she came to model for, she modeled for quite a few. So she knew where I was living at the time and she was a little bit gossipy, which isn't a problem. Like there's a lot of people that are gossipy, like everyone's really different, but that was something that stood out to me that she was a bit of a gossipy person. And a lot of the time I just ignore it. You know, I won't get involved. You know, when you just kind of, instead of agreeing or disagreeing, you just kind of laugh and let them say what they want to say, you know? And there was a moment that really stood out where she was actually slagging off a local makeup artist in the area. And if you guys know me, you know I'm not about that. Like, I really don't care about anything else to do with any other makeup artists. Like, I'm not really close with other makeup artists. Not for any particular reason. It's just because I purely keep myself to myself. So if I find out that somebody else has said something about me, I don't really care. I won't ever say anything about anyone else sort of thing. Let's just give her a name, by the way. Let's give her... Let's call her Bob. So Bob was slagging off a makeup artist from my area. So I was a bit like, oh, I don't really like this. But she's obviously got quite a lot to say about her. And she ended up saying that that makeup artist blocked her. And I thought, that's weird. Why would she block you? Why would she block you if you haven't done anything? So that was the first alarm bell. Anyway, she modelled for me. I didn't see her again. So she probably came to my house maybe three or four times. Um, and that was one of the moments that really stood out to me. Something as little as that can stand out to me because, again, like I said, I'm not really a bitchy person. Uh, so that stood out. And when she was with me, other than that, she was absolutely fine. Forward to maybe a couple of months later, I have a makeup artist on social media who I actually had taught and she put out a social media post and this post said along the lines of because this was a while ago now it was along the lines of i have to speak up now um this person has basically been terrorizing me for the past however long it was quite some time um and there was racist comments there was all sorts of comments in there it was absolutely horrendous anyway so she posts the girl's Instagram. So I have a look and it's her. It's Bob. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm seeing this. This girl's been around my house. So I write on this girl's post and just say, oh my God, I actually can't believe this. I, I can't, I actually can't, well, I could believe it, but you know what I mean? Like, I can't believe this is happening sort of thing. And Bob replies to the comment. Bob's in the comments of this girl's post. She's just outed Bob and Bob's in the comments. And Bob is replying to everyone's comments in there. And she's replied to me saying like, along the lines of like, don't you pipe up now or something along those lines, right? This makeup artist then messages me, the one who's outed her, and said, look, there's actually a lot of people that this girl's trolling. She's actually trolling everyone who has written on that post. And we all know who it is. Usually you don't know who a troll is, right? No, Th this woman is, she's just fully out there knowing that she's trolling people. At this point, She's already in my DMs. Now, when I say she's in my DMs, she's in the DMs. She's already, she's trying to troll me. But the best way to not let a troll get to you is to just ignore them. Don't reply, don't even open the message because then in the end, they get bored and they leave you alone. But it gets worse. 
this girl was trolling so many people, specifically in the South East London area. And it turned out after this makeup artist had exposed her, a lot of people came out and said, she's been doing the same to me. And even a few celebrities came out as well and said, yep, she's been doing the same to me. To the point where there was accounts online that were made specifically about Bob. There was videos of people approaching her where they found her in a McDonald's in South, South East London somewhere and going over to her and saying, you know, addressing all of the issues that she had been saying. She, she didn't pretend it wasn't her. She was still admitting to it basically and not giving a care in the world, which was so surprising. And all of this was being posted all over social media. And there was even talks of a TV show being made. That's when you knew it was getting pretty bad. When she was trolling so many people and it was always along the same lines of what she was saying. Like she was just vile. Things that I cannot repeat. I can't even tell you what was being said because it was just so vile. People found out where she worked. People were calling up her work. Turns out she worked in a hospital. Scary. That's scary, isn't it? And she's still in my DMs as well as many others, writing essays, writing numerous things, just saying whatever she can possible. And she'd even disappear at times and then come back. You'd think, oh, she's gone. She stopped. But then she'd come back. And it just absolutely blew my mind that this girl and the things she was saying, she was actually at my house while she was going through her whole trolling era that she was having. And it now also makes sense to me why she was slagging off that other makeup artist, that moment that I said that really stood out to me. She must have been trolling her and she blocked her. And then she was telling me all about it. She obviously didn't tell me about the trolling, but just told me about her blocking her for no apparent reason. Obviously, there was a reason. So yeah, that is the story of the time a troll came to my house and then started trolling me after. If you enjoyed listening to that story time, girl, I have stories for days. So make sure you hit the follow because I'm ready to expose all these stories.